focus on implementation is extraordinarily important. In New York City, there were plans several years ago to push for radical transparency about the city's data. It's one thing to have a principle of a commitment to transparency and open data. It's another thing to figure out and to work with agencies and departments on what does it mean to actually inventory what the data is that you have. Then to figure out what it means to put that data up online. What restrictions might there be from a privacy or security perspective that might create impediments? Many government institutions have old technology. They don't have servers that can be hit repeatedly for downloads. So you have to figure out solutions of where you can put the data. There are legal issues that have to be overcome in terms of ensuring that the data is provided in a form that's fully reusable, accessible, and open. There are issues also of uh, cost, of making sure that public sector data is provided freely to people, which might be a change in practice over previous years. We have to start with the problems that we're trying to fix, the issues that really matter to us in a community, and above all, what we have to invest in if we want to implement an open data program is collaboration with the citizens who are going to take that data and do something with it and make it useful. When Health and Human Services opens up its public data sets about asthma, what makes that data powerful and valuable is that a doctor in Wisconsin starts Propeller Health and a tool creates a tool called Asmopolis to put sensors on asthma inhalers of children around the country to collect data from them about where they're actually using their inhaler. Combines that data with the data that's already collected by Health and Human Services about emergency room visits and creates a powerful tool for policymakers and for individuals to help reduce asthma incidents with dramatic results. It's early on that we have to have the conversations about how open data can help drive better solutions around health, better solutions around transportation, better solutions around the many problems and projects that we face. It's only working together with open data as the raw material that we're going to develop to inform solutions to problems.